Um, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about some changes that are happening and they're kind of big changes. My baby's gone. Yeah, you gotta eat your eggs. You don't get anything until you eat your eggs. I want cheese. I want eggy but but so many cheese. Mm. Good girl. I want spinach. Where spinach go? The green part is the spinach, honey. This is spinach. me upside down and then you're in my bed and under my skin where will it end if i let it begin so be sweet you know life's too short so let's not waste another Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sydney and I have had an awesome morning so far. So we had a little bit of breakfast, our eggs, as you saw, I like to give her her eggs and or whatever food before fruit because if I give her fruit first then she will not want to eat the rest. So we did that and then I showed you your are naked so we cannot show you. And then today has been a house tour day. I usually don't show you guys me doing like house tours outside but uh, I brought you along. I'm sorry I'm trying not to show her because she needs to get her clothes on. I had some like normal housekeeping things to do on the outside, cleaning up the garage, um, doing some recycling, and cleaning out the trash can. Some super cute things. There's been a lot of changes that we are going through uh, as far as just, just a lot of changes with scheduling and with things. And we just had lunch, so we are about to go outside again. I have some housework to do on the deck. I've got some sweeping and um, just putting away some of her chairs that were out when family visited. And I will talk to you guys today about a bunch of changes that we're going through as far as Sydney's sleep. You guys know I've been talking about Sydney's terrible sleeping arrangements and habits um, for the last month, two months. So got an update on that. And maybe, just maybe, we will be putting away the high chair tonight. I'm trying to, you know, talk her through it and seeing if she can come on board and agree with me because I like to include her with those things so that her feelings don't get hurt. Anyway, if you guys like Day in the Life vlogs, give this video a thumbs up. My name is Haley, my little girl is Sydney. Yeah, so I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel if you are new. 
I haven't done many day in the life videos in the past few weeks because I've been implementing a bunch of different style videos and types of videos on my channel, which I am having so much fun doing. I feel less burnt out because I'm doing different things and I'm not having to like figure out what I'm gonna do for my day in life. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh, all morning I was doing housework and then we played outside with a little neighbor. Um, she is uh, almost two, so Sydney played with her like all morning long. Let me get this little girl dressed and I'll meet you outside. <laughs> Put away your high chair. I want my table. Where's my table? So that when you eat dinner, you could eat dinner at either your table right here, oh, my table. or or Mama can figure out. I mean, you're a little bit too small for this, but we can figure it out. What do you think? Are you ready to say goodbye to your high chair? Can I have my high chair? Yeah. Do you, are you ready for Mama to put it away so we don't eat in this anymore? Clean this first. No. Let me give it a wipe down. So much more room in my kitchen now just having that gone that took up a lot I mean my kitchen's like tiny as it is so having that take up a lot of space was not fun this is so good I'm so hopefully she's okay with the loss of her high chair oh thanks I'm hiding <laughs> So now that the high chair is put away, uh oh, and then the sun is in the most perfect spot right now. <gasps> Ow! Yeah, <laughs> What's so funny? Yeah, me, mommy. Ready? Ow! You fixed it. Fix it. Fix it. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> is this fun? Okay, so now that the high chair is officially put away, I was completely fine with it, and then. It like just hit me. I'm like, wait a minute, the high chair's gone. My baby's gone. Anyway, I'm over it though because I totally have so much more space in my, my hair's a crazy mess today. I have so much more space. Are you a big girl now? Yeah, yeah. I'm a happy mommy. Oh my word. Her middle name should be I'm Hungry Mommy. I'm happy. You just had a cheese stick and blackberries. I'm hungry. Do you want a cup of milk? Yeah, I'll come milk and huggy. And food? Yeah, food. Goodness. Hold, please. Okay, so now Sydney has a cup of milk and some crackers. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about some changes that are happening. And they're kind of big changes. I mean, obviously, we, you saw we just got rid of the high chair, which is quite a big change because... Sydney always, like as a rich routine, always ate dinner in her high chair. Um, it was just a thing and she enjoyed it and she always wanted to be in her high chair, but she a-okayed it. And I wanted to make sure that she didn't have her feelings hurt or just all of a sudden was like, wait a minute, where'd my high chair go? I wanted her to be a part of it. Um, putting it away, you know what I mean? And I wanted to for a while, I just never got around it. Anyway, so there's that. Another huge change, we're only a few days into it, but do you guys know, um, it's been forever. I've been talking about Sydney's sleep like on Instagram basically every single day. I'm sure you're already sick of it. And I actually just realized it's been like two months of this. I thought it had been about a month. Someone messaged me and said, um, are you sure it's not a phase? Um, I was like, oh, I think it's, you know, it's been a month. I don't think it's a phase. No, it's been over two months. So yeah. Anyway, long story short, um, I've tried to decrease Sydney's naps and wake her up after like an hour. 
and she still wasn't falling asleep at night even if she only had like a half hour 20 minute nap in the car she was not falling asleep at bedtime at all until like 9 sometimes 10 o'clock at night and she would also have very interrupted sleep like you could tell she wasn't sleeping very deep um, she would wake up kind of throughout the night and like ask for water or just wake up and just not be able to fall back asleep and toss and turn not like wake up I need my mommy type of wake up but just clearly not sleeping very well and then she would wake up around 7 30 in the morning so she would have interrupted 10 hour total but then interrupted she wasn't sleeping well she's been very very like cranky and i know we've been go 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 for the summer so over the past few days i've been experimenting with no naps at all and just a very early bedtime like we used to do i mean she i always put her to bed by 7 30 um but she still wasn't falling asleep so it wasn't that i wasn't putting her to bed early enough she just couldn't because she wasn't tired enough to fall asleep so anyway we are doing no nap and a very strict 7 p.m bedtime so going upstairs at like 6 45 and starting our routine then so that by the time i put her in her crib and walk downstairs it is like 705 at the latest you know what i mean so we are doing a very strict early bedtime she has been doing absolutely phenomenal um with this routine and i did not think she was ready so I originally did not think that she could go without naps because I was like, well, she's only two and a half. She needs naps. But she proved to me that even with a little nap, she just wasn't sleeping well at night. We are experimenting with the no nap thing and it's been like three days. I know, big deal, three days. Um, but like whenever we didn't do a nap and she would go to bed early, she would do phenomenal. Obviously she's tired, you know, sometimes midday, sometimes by the, um, by dinner time, but we are having quiet time and downtime in the middle of the day. So it's not like she's constantly go, go, go. So I'm going to try to do some downtime, relaxing. If she falls asleep, she falls asleep, but I'm not going to do a formal bedtime and I'm just experimenting with it. If we need to go back and do naps because she can't handle it, then yes, of course. And what I like most about her not napping is that I am able to play with her and give her one-on-one -on -one time so much more now than I did before like yes so far I haven't done any editing during the day but I'm also able to edit like two extra hours at night because she's in bed and sleeping so much faster because when she would be in bed but rolling around until 9 10 o'clock at night I wouldn't be able to edit I wouldn't be able to like focus it just was a mess so it really didn't take away from my editing time. Um, but I don't feel as guilty working from home because I have all that extra time. I have like two extra hours a day where I don't have to rush home for bedtime or nap time and um, I like hurry up and you know edit in the morning and then hurry up and get her down for a nap. And then, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm spending so much more quality time with Sydney late these past few days. <laughs> And we've been able to do more activities like finger painting outside and just playing outside and I don't know like I'm so much happier. I'm getting so much done around the house I'm playing with Sydney one-on-one -on -one, and then she's sleeping so well. Oh my god. Look at those toes <laughs> It's a win-win for both of us right now and I know you guys are probably laughing like <laughs> it's been three days, but we will see. I thought I would update you on that because I've been talking about Sydney's sleep forever. So, are you doing so well without a nap? Yes, I love a nap. You're being such a big girl. I'm such a big girl. And girl. you're sleeping so good at at nighttime. Sunny, mommy, my I'm going to bed. Are you happy Sunny. when you go to bed and you sleep? You're happy, and you get so much more time to to play with mommy. No, play with mommy. I just, I just want to want me to keep and sleep up in it. Rolling around in the crib and standing up and jumping. And everything sitting up and 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 everything. This is helping me to like really think. Okay, she's ready for a big girl bed now because we're not napping and she's that tired when we go to bed. Oh my god, <laughs> that I think big girl bed transition might be doable now. Whereas before, she was like literally doing flips and jumping up and down in her crib for two hours at night. So I was like, no way, she's not ready for her own bed. But now that she's back to like dropping to sleep instantly, it's I doable. Got me my so, I got me my
can. There's a little bit more of changing as far as like my schedule goes, working schedule. Um, I am waking up a little bit early and I'm going to bed a little bit early and I've been so happy the last, it's been like four days of it. So wow. yeah, just a lot of changing going on and it's <clears throat> so far so good. So good. And my um, my filming schedule is changing. My upload schedule is going to stay the same, but I am filming on different days, which is allowing me to have an extra day to edit. <sighs> I'm just finding a groove and it feels so good. So it is like 3.15 right now and Sydney and I, I think are gonna go play outside again because we've had some downtime, we've had some snacks and I'm done cleaning for the moment. I still have to um, do some things, but You don't want to play in the deck? I, I want the front door. You want to go out the front door? Yeah, I want my crackers on my front door. Okay, we'll bring your crackers out the front door. Decided yeah. to go for a little walk. This is part of the like enjoyable moments of you know having her have no nap because. You know, we can still have some downtime. Whoa, the sun just got so bright. But yeah, it's part of the enjoyable moments. Like, Sydney can have some downtime. It's just before dinner. So I'm gonna go for a little walk. I'm literally in my flip-flops. I'm not going for a workout, which I should have done, but I didn't. That was a great little walk. Now Sydney is having some dinner. It's right about five o'clock. So she is having leftover chicken tortilla soup and some cornbread. Um, I'm gonna hold off a little bit for dinner because I'm not so starving yet, but she is. Can you take smaller bites, honey? That's getting crazy. Too big. This is the time of night that she gets really tired, so. We just kind of relax a little bit. I do allow her to watch a little bit of TV right now and um, just, take it easy and then I will shut the TV off in about a half hour and then we will just read some books, play, do a bath and bed. We saw coming, we heard the sirens, but we kept our heads in the sand. And now we're back drifting, just roll the islands, we still swim but we can't see land. And so we're on. girls in pajamas she's in mismatched pajamas because I don't know where the bottoms are to these ones so anyway we are going to read a few books get ready for bedtime it's 6 30 right now so she's having some milk and we're just gonna relax read some books and then go up and do bedtime because she is so beyond ready for bedtime so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will keep you updated on you know how things work out um, and I hope I think I'll be doing a couple of day in the life vlogs this week and maybe I don't know what else I'll be doing but I'm so so excited to be doing different types of videos on this channel as well as day in the life vlogs um, it's nice to just switch it up so no one gets burnt out you guys don't get sick of the same thing and I don't get sick of the same thing either so are right, you guys I'll talk to you in the next video bye